Okay, Doctor Shirt Cape with Chris Harrelson. Chris Harrelson is known for playing zombies on the show The Walking Dead. That's a true statement. And you've been on like 45 episodes? Uh, you're way overselling me. Uh, I've been 24 different walkers. 24 different walkers? Yeah. Wow. And um, you're killed in all of them or you just wander around or you're featured in a few? I've been killed in about half, in exactly half of them. 12 oh. of 24. So it's 50 50 chance of survival for you. Right, right. If I show up on set, I, gotta, I might live, I might die. It's literally a toss of the coin. Right. And because they keep calling you back, it's because you know how to be a zombie. You went to something called Walker University? Uh, yeah, zombie school, Walker University. Zombie yes. school. Uh huh. So they taught you how to be a zombie? Uh, not really. Um, that's more of like an audition type thing. Okay. Um, most of the instruction happens like when you're actually on the set, kind of. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Walker School is where they um, give you different scenarios to see if you're kind of able to do what they want from you. All right. Now, can you put me through some of the paces? I think we can do I, a little bit of that. The doctor wants to be a bit of a zombie. Now, we'll probably hand this to you because I don't think the zombie would be holding a little mic. Unless it's like, you know, he, he died with a, you know, cast on. No, that'd be a different show that we're talking about there, for sure. Right. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, first off, Dr. Stevel. Right, right. Let's see your zombie walk. Your walker stride, as it were. Great night. I'm sorry, my bad. This walker has definitely been distracted uh, by the surroundings. Uh, no, no, no. This is awkward. I wanted to bite you, but you know, just that looked weird. We, can, you know, let's wait till we get the special effects teams in here for all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So that was that was a very good zombie. Right. Zombie gate, okay. Walker walk. Um, now, uh, do me a favor, Dr. Steve. We'll go stand by the brown chair over there. Face me. Right, right. Come at me as if I'm your Sunday night dinner, as it were. It is, it is Sunday night, so there's only a bit of fiction here. I'm your guy. What do you, come on out. No. No. That was good. I just, 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 I just saw a big turkey standing there. I just wanted to eat it. I was hungry. He yeah. just called me a turkey. Dr. Steve will just call me a jive turkey. All right, chicken. Um, this is what the doctor likes. I've heard we do taste like chicken. Every once in a while, we, you know, there is some eating going on on set. Right, right. That was actually really excellent. Yeah? You freaking nailed it. Freaking did, killed did it. Did I have it in the eyes? I think I was too busy being absolutely mortified. I couldn't see your eyes. We're gonna have to hit the playback for that. Okay, unless you know I can pretend she's zombie. Oh, she, my camera person's dinner. Yeah. And that you know, and actually this this actually is the third um, the third uh, act in the zombie school. That you the cameraman are uh, you are going at the cameraman because a lot of times in the show when you're going after the uh, when you're going after a character you're coming towards the camera so that they get the full frontal view on you. So. Your uh, lovely camera woman over here. This is your third victim and final test for zombie school. Yeah, no, no, my inspiration again is Sunday night dinner. Um, or what? Mid afternoon snack, maybe. Maybe not full dinner. We're not. We're not at that level of hunger yet. You're just a little intrigued. Oh, this, this is something I might be interested in. So it's not 100% famished. It's just like. Right. We haven't been lost in the weeks without a, without a meal yet. So it's like. Eh, okay. okay. You say that looks like it might whet my appetite. Okay. And scene. Uh, are there any rules? Any rules that they have? Like for zombies? Um, like you can't talk, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I won't say hard and fast rules, but there are certain things that I've, that I've kind of like learned just right. from, you know, myself from being on set. Um, it's best to be like loose and not stiff loose but not swaying yeah, not, not like the wind blows and you're like not a michael jackson thriller type of loose right, right. just kind of relax maybe like maybe kind of like uh you're a marionette with a string through your head but some you're not being held up all the way you know there's a little bit there you go like someone's let a little slack out on the string now we're talking um act like you're a drunk 
stumbling out of a bar at three in the morning after far too many drinks, but you've dropped your keys on the ground and you're looking for your keys and you can't find them anywhere. Uh, I think you'll be getting a call for the premiere of season seven, sir. Yeah, hoorah! That's just a zombie. It's the best dress zombie. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what it takes to sort of be a zombie. Now, you know. I think you nailed it. Thank you. That's actually your help, though, because I don't think I could have come after you if I didn't have that inspiration that, you know, your Sunday night dinner or, like, you know, that that was like a snack or I'm looking for my keys. Because that's all that was going through my mind while doing it. I wasn't thinking I'm playing a zombie, I'm just thinking what you're telling me. And that's pretty well how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I mean, it's just the, we play little mental tricks with ourselves to get you to uh, to, to, be, to be in that place. Because, I mean, you're always a zombie, so right. you got to have different things that you're, that you're doing. Motivations, as it were. Um, because a zombie, like, you know, doesn't have an actual motivation. There's no thought to it. Um, it's all kind of like animalistic instinct. So you got to give yourself those different little cues to kind of... Uh, help you think of what you're doing in the scene. That's fair enough. What if a zombie just wants to Netflix and chill? <laughs> I think that's coming in season eight. I don't really? know. We haven't gotten to that part of this stuff yet. Cool. Fair enough. Wow. Well, thank you. Thanks, Dr. Dr. Steve. Dr. It's always a pleasure to hang out with this dude. He's, <laughs> He's my favorite person in Canada. No offense to other Canadians who are all fantastic and lovely. You are. But number one. Doctor here is number one. It's my number two. I'll take that. <laughs> Okay, good. We're gonna take your eye out for that. I need this for work. Your can't zombie mess, really can't mess this up. Really, That's a money maker. This is your freaking money maker. Then the contact lenses won't fit right. I don't know. Just shove it in there. You know, put some little like you do cotton swabs. <laughs> Keep the thing. For, and if they'll have to invest in glass eyeballs. Yeah, and then but you can have them hanging. Think about it. Right. We should look for a one-eyed man. That yeah. needs to be added. Put to stuff guys. in there, like a spider web or little spiders or, you know, fun stuff they put in there. He's the one, every episode, he's the same zombie and never gets killed. He's just kind of wandering through the scene. Yeah. But there's a different gag every episode. Pretty like well, yeah. Like somebody hits a tennis ball and he gets stuck in there. Daryl's arrow coming through, but there's no brain on that side. So, it, yeah. We it kind of misses another zombie walks in front, so then you'll see him in another episode. Yeah, I could see that. The guest zombie that people want to see at cons shows up. That sounds like a webisode. Like a little happy face, you know, for an eye. Yeah, this is our next trillion dollar idea. <laughs>